Okay, well, I'm Professor Roger Kirby, and uh, I'm an associate editor of the BJUI. We've got a new editor, uh, Professor Das Gupta, a good friend of mine. So we thought it would be interesting if we tried to link the uh, comment section of the journal with uh, this little video clip, which we're going to put on the website. So one of the comments we've recently come up with is the importance of written patient information to add to the consent form that a patient signs ahead of uh, surgery. Because traditionally we've seen the patient with explained uh, the implications of an operation such as robotic radical prostatectomy or cystectomy or whatever procedure. And then we ask them to sign the consent form mentioning the benefits of the operation, the things that could possibly go wrong, bleeding, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, etc. And they just sign the form and uh, then, then uh, undergo the procedure. But we're beginning to understand now that actually patients need a lot more information than this kind of outline. And uh, what you'd ideally want them to have is, is an information about all the benefits and all the possible downsides. So if something were to go wrong, hopefully these days things don't often go wrong, but say they are incontinent, say they are impotent, say the penis is shorter after their robotic procedure or whatever, then you can say to them, listen, you had the patient information. You not only had it, but you ticked a box to say that you'd read it and you understood it and you signed the consent form. So in a way it's a kind of protection uh, for doctors against the rising tide of litigation that unfortunately we're seeing. But more importantly it's, it's better for the patient to go in eyes wide open understanding all the benefits that an operation such as a cancer curing procedure like robotic radical prostatectomy can offer but also understanding in, in, in detail, um, in an understandable, logical, lucid way, uh, the downsides as well, so they really, really understand uh, ahead of the procedure what they're, what they're heading for and what they can expect. So we think this is rather important, obviously not just in urology, but actually uh, any kind of intervention that patients are subjected to.